Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with images in Lightworks. To start, we have some video of some lilacs and if I shot from the backyard, and I'm going to add some images to the top track up here. So first I'm going to go to the Log tab, so I can import them in my local files. And let's scroll down, and I'm going to import, you now that's the sky. Well, I'll import this one right here, we'll click Import. Go to the Edit tab, and we want to go to Project Contents, and I will double, I think it's this one, I must have had the other one in there already, I'll double click that, and you just saw something kind of weird there now, didn't you? When I opened it in the viewer, you're going to see there's actually a couple different pictures in this file that I just imported. Now why in the world is that? That's kind of strange, isn't it? Well, if you go back to the Log tab, and back to local files, you're going to look in here and you're going to see, for example, image 9104 dot 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 9109. Well, that's image 9104 through 9109. Lightworks is looking at the metadata of each image and it's grouping like images together. So when you import one of these, you import all of them at once. Well, I find that rather annoying. I just want to import one of them. Well, if you're in the log tab in the local files, if you right click, you can go where it says video to detect image sequences and you can shut that off. Now Lightworks will only import one image at a time, it will no longer group them together. So I'm going to click on this one right here and click import. Go to the edit tab, we're already on our project contents, that's this one here and if I double click this, in fact I'll drag it into the timeline. You can see this is just one image. It is not a bunch of images, it's just one. Now there's another little nuisance. This image is pretty darn long. Now I could just take this and I could just trim it and make it shorter. But what if I want to import images that are all five seconds in length instead of you know that long? Well, let's go back to the log tab and back to local files and let's right click on an image again and under video Still duration seconds, it says 60 seconds, well that's one minute. I'm going to change this to five seconds so they all import as five seconds. Now something you must know is when you change this setting, it won't take effect until you log out of the project and then you double click it to log back in. Now any image that you import will import as five seconds. Let's test it with this one right here. I'm going to click import, go to the edit tab. And that is, which one is it? It's this one here, I believe. So let's drag it down a timeline. You can see it's only five seconds long, which is exactly what we want. So now we have some images imported. Now let's make some changes to them. So see, from this point, the image is just a video track. I can go to the FX, VFX tab, that is. And I can right click on this and I can add an effect just like I would with a video. I'm going to do 2D DVE. And I can go over to the effects tab where it says scale. I can bring the scale down a bit. And you know, I got a little nuisance right here. You can see there's some black bars on the side of the image. Well, that's because the image is not a perfect 16 by 9 image. And Lightworks is putting these black bars on it basically as a letterboxing thing to turn it into a 16 by 9 image. Well, we can get rid of that with the 2D DVE filter under the Crop tab. Simply use the left slider to crop out the left side of the black box. And you can use the right slider to do the same for the right. Now, my computer is being a little bit um, slow today. So I'm going to attempt to uh, adjust the size of this by going to the Edit tab. Yeah, computers having always oh, having trouble. Oh boy, let's see if I can make it through this. But I just want to show you you can do some um, you can do some keyframing as well. Okay, that's good. So now we have this right here. I'm going to re-enable this track again. If we go in in the effects tab and you enable these little keyframing things. You know, you can do some keyframing just by moving this around and you move the playhead somewhere else. And then you, you know, you move the image somewhere else. And, and this will keyframe. I don't know how well it's going to play because my computer is struggling, but it's actually playing, thankfully. 
So that's how you key, add an image, and this is how you keyframe it. So you know, after you add it, the image is just a, a regular video track. Well, I do want to show you one more thing, and that would be um, transparent images. So let's go back to the Edit tab. I have this image right here is a transparent image that I already made. It's a PNG file, and it has transparency. So I'm going to take this and just kind of get rid of that image. I'm going to take my transparent one and put it over the video. And I'm going to deselect the video track and the audio track. And I'm going to extend this a bit. And, you know, Houston, we have a problem. This is not transparent. Well, what in the world is going on? Well, this is just a bug that Lightworks has. See, if I put this right on top of the video, it's not going to be transparent. What I need to do is move it off the video. Go into, you know, it's from the VFX tab. I'm going to right click and I will add an effect. And I'm going to use my favorite, the 2D DVE. And I'm going to go to the DVE effect in the effects tab. I'm going to change the scale slightly. Now we just scale it down. See, now when I move this on top, it's going to be transparent now, and it is. See, it's, it's, a, it's a rather strange little bug that Lightworks has. You need to add an effect to it first and then put it on top of the video before it will actually remain as transparent. See, now this image is fully transparent after doing that. So if you have a PNG file with transparency and it has the black background, simply take put it on its own separate track and add an effect and then put it on top of what you want to uh, have it on top of and it will then retain its transparency. And this is actually all I have to show you for working with images in Lightworks. You know, I could you know, keyframe this as well, but my computer wants to go to bed. So I'm going to go to bed too.